Welcome back to the Rhythmic Gymnastics, the European Championships at Granada in southern Spain, where we're watching Caroline Weber, one of the colorful characters of Group B. We've been looking at the Group B session on and off all day long and had some very interesting performances. Some better than others, as you might expect. And uh, Group A to come tomorrow, where the top girls, the top nations will be involved. But these are the wannabes, really, of uh, gymnastics. And Caroline Weber putting up a pretty good showing here. Michelle Smith, uh, you've enjoyed yourself today, haven't you? Yeah, they've been really pleased to see some of the Group B competitors in this competition. A lot of them are showing great flexibility and the sort of moves that they're performing here in this competition really are coming along with this new code that they're using. Well, not so new now. The code's been around for a couple of years, but it's taken quite a long time for the gymnasts to get to grips with it. And the thing that's really taken them uh, time to get to grips with is the difficulty of the new code. The uh, Federation asking them to produce ever more difficult, complicated moves. And the, uh, obviously the standard of strength, as well as anything else, has had to go up as a result of all that. Yeah, I think this code's going to be around for the, the next eight, well, the next six years. So, obviously there's been a few teething problems at the beginning. And next year, I think they're going to bring in a couple of changes to it just to make it slightly easier for the gymnasts. Pretty stuff then from Caroline. The Austrians here amongst uh, 35 nations going for the team trophy in these European Championships. And going pretty well.